space. So question number seven. Is the carbon hydrogen bond in CH4 polar or nonpolar? What about the CH4 molecule as a whole? Is it polar or nonpolar? So let's draw out methane, which is CH4. And the first part of the question asks if the carbon hydrogen bond is polar or nonpolar. So to do that, we need to find the difference in electronegativity for both carbon and hydrogen. So let's look up the electronegativity values for these two elements. So carbon has an electronegativity value of 2.5. And hydrogen is 2.1. So for their difference in electronegativity, it's only 0 0.4. So since the difference in electronegativity is less than 0 0.5, then this means that the carbon hydrogen bond is nonpolar. So that means that since carbon has a similar electronegativity with hydrogen, there's not really like a dipole moment that is being formed between the two, like they, they're kind of just equal. So the second part of the question asks if the molecule as a whole is polar or nonpolar. So not only is this molecule fully like symmetrical in a sense that if there was uh, dipole moments that were being formed, they would all cancel each other out anyways. So not only is it symmetrical, they also only contain nonpolar bonds. So therefore the CH4 molecule is also nonpolar. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Bond type can be predicted by the difference in electronegativity of the two atoms. As a rule of thumb, the bond is purely covalent if the electronegativity difference is below 0 0.4. In the Pauling scales, carbon has an electronegativity value of 2.55, and hydrogen has a value of 2.2. .2. So the electronegativity difference is 0 0.35. Therefore, the carbon-hydrogen bond is considered purely covalent and nonpolar. Since the molecule is composed of carbon-hydrogen bonds, then the molecule as a whole is also not polar. Okay, so the solution is correct.